Hello, my name is Victoria and today we are going to learn what is malware. Let's go! Have you ever received an email that asks you to enter your credentials? Then after that you notice your device was slower, you started getting a lot of pop-up ads. Or did you receive a message saying your computer was infected and you needed to buy software to fix it? Well, then your computer might have been infected by malware. Malware, short for malicious software, is a harmful software designed to disable or damage the normal function of devices, systems, networks, and websites. In most cases, malware doesn't physically damage the device it attacks. It can encrypt or delete your data, hijack core computer functions, and spy on your computer activity. But there have been cases of malware that cause smartphone batteries to overheat, physically damaging the phone. So now you might be thinking, what do cyber criminals gain with it? Depending on the type of attack, criminals can steal your data and use it for identity theft. They may also sabotage your system so you cannot get your job done, causing financial damage to your company. Or they may even force your device to run ads or mine cryptocurrency, bringing them financial gains. If you wonder how malware can spread from one source to another, there are actually several possibilities. It can be through email attachments, installation of fake software, or infected devices like USB drive. Typically, there is a message prompting you to take immediate action. For example, your system is infected, click here to run a scan. Once you click it and the malware installation occurs, its harmful payload may execute tasks such as encrypting access to files, programs, or systems. Then, demand that you pay a certain amount of money to regain access, installing a keylogger application which records every activity you perform on your keyboard. This means cyber criminals can retrieve your messages, track the pages you visit, and capture your passwords. Keep in mind that some types of malware can try to hide and even block antivirus or other security tools, making it more difficult to detect and remove them. That being said, one of the best ways to protect your data and devices is to understand the threat itself. So let's talk about some of the most common types of malware. First, we got, guess what, viruses. Even though people often use malware and virus as synonyms, malware is an umbrella term used to refer to any harmful software, including viruses. On the other hand, a virus is a type of malware. Once a user opens a compromised file, the device will be infected. The virus then spreads uncontrollably to other files and from host to host like a biological virus, eventually corrupting the system's functionality. The misuse of these terms happens because some of the first malware attacks were called viruses. It then became a commonly used term to refer to any form of cyber attack. Next, there are Trojans. Trojans disguise as legitimate software tricking users into downloading and installing them. Once it's running on your device, it can access, modify, block, or delete sensitive data. It can also install additional malware, spy on your activities, and crash the system. Some types of Trojans also have the ability to make the compromised file invisible to antivirus programs, or even make the Trojan registry itself hidden. Also, Many Trojans can block antivirus software and compromise its database so it won't function correctly. Then there are worms. Worms can spread without host programs or user interaction to distribute their malicious payload. It gets into a device via a network connection or downloaded a file, where worms will rapidly copy themselves and disrupt a device function, potentially causing severe data loss. The fourth malware type is ransomware. It's one of the most profitable malware for cyber criminals. With ransomware, they gain access to a system, then encrypts its files so users cannot access them. Then they demand that users pay a ransom to regain access to that data or system. If the user refuses to pay, the cyber criminals usually threaten to erase all victims' files. Next up, spyware. It's malware that spies on your computer activities. It monitors and collects your internet browsing habits and personal data, then reports to a remote user. One example of spyware is a keylogger, which we talked about earlier. Spyware is also used by law enforcement and information security organizations for testing, monitoring, and investigation purposes. Another common type of malware is adware. 
It bombards you with unwanted advertisements to generate revenue for the attacker. Not all adware is dangerous, but since it may redirect browsers to unsafe sites, it can provide a way for other malware to get into your device. The next one is Scareware. As its name suggests, Scareware is used by cyber criminals to scare users into thinking that their devices were infected by malware. They do this to trick users into installing or purchasing a suspicious app. Usually, they send an alarming message along with the lines of your computer is infected or warning we detected a virus. And the last one is fileless malware. This one is sneaky. The attacker doesn't need to install any malware files on the system. Usually, it injects malicious code into legitimate programs already installed on your device. This means there's no malicious footprint to detect. Plus, fileless malware can disappear when the infected device is rebooted. This makes finding and removing this type of malware even more difficult. Now let's talk about website malware. Its objective is to run malicious activity on a website, a web server, or its visitors. Websites with vulnerabilities and poor security are easy targets for this kind of attack. Like malware in general, website malware looks to steal sensitive information, hijack the website, redirect visitors to spam or malicious pages, or infect the visitors' devices. Your site can eventually be blacklisted by internet authorities like Google, because your domain is suspected of serving spam or malicious content. This will cause SEO issues and also affect the site's reputation. If you use Hostinger as your hosting provider, our malware scanner will help keep your website safe. It's an automated tool integrated into your HPANO that will scan your website for harmful or compromised files. If it doesn't find malware, it will display your hosting plan's name and the time passed since the last detection. But in case the malware scanner finds any suspicious files, it will show the number of cases detected and cleared in the period. It will also inform the actions taken and details about each discovery. Even if you have a helpful tool like this at your disposal, applying basic security measures is still important. Now that you know the most common types of malware, it's time to learn how to protect yourself from them. Here are the some tasks you can do to keep malware at bay. 1. Pay attention to what you open and download online. Make sure you know precisely the content of the link you are about to open or download. It doesn't matter where it came from, be it from email, social media, or text messages. If it looks unfamiliar or the URL doesn't have HTTPS, it's better to stay away from it. If a suspicious pop-up appears, simply close it and navigate away from the site that triggered it. Also, be careful with emails that ask for your personal information. Let's say you received an email from your bank asking you to reset your password. Don't respond and delete it immediately, as banks typically don't ask their customers to change sensitive information via email. 2. Be careful with your online purchases. Make sure to only purchase from reputable companies via their official websites or online retail stores, as you are more likely to find malware in unofficial apps and third-party stores. 3. Perform regular checkups and backups. Use security software to regularly scan your devices and detect whether there is any malware. Also, regularly check your bank accounts and credit reports to see if there are any activities you are unaware of. And don't forget to regularly back up your data. We don't want anything bad to happen, but if it does, at least you got yourself covered. And 4. Keep an eye on your devices, networks, and websites. Make sure that your operating system and applications are always up to date, as attackers use security vulnerabilities to reach a target. Also, use security tools to help protecting your machines, such as antivirus software and an ad blocker. Then, be vigilant of any sudden changes in your settings, or if a new software mysteriously appears. There you go! You learned what malware is, how it works, some of the most common types of malware, and how to protect yourself against them. I hope this video can help you make the most of the internet in the safer way. If you have any experience encountering or solving malware, feel free to share it in the comment section below, and do let us know if you have any questions about it. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video!